Hi everyone, it's Miss Nicole. I'm the children's librarian at the Cicero Library and I'm here today with another batch of home cooked art for you. That's art you can make with stuff from your kitchen. Here I am in my kitchen um, and today I'm going to show you some ways that you can use tea and coffee to paint. So it doesn't really matter what kind of tea or coffee you have in your house. Every kind will work to some degree. The real key to using tea and coffee as paint is to make it really, really strong. Much stronger probably than you would want it to be if you were going to actually drink it. Um, if you want, if you don't like waste, <laughs> and you just have a little bit of tea left over in your teacup or coffee cup, you absolutely can try painting with it. I will tell you that it will be very light colored. It doesn't, it's not exactly a, a paint, it's more of a wash, um, which is really great if you like drawing with ink. You can draw with ink and then add the wash of leftover coffee or tea to it and it looks great. But if you want to actually make a whole painting, I recommend making really strong coffee or tea and letting it sit overnight to brew even more. Um, so depending on what type you use, you'll get a different color, of course. If you use black tea, and here I'm going to give you um, kind of a close-up so you can see these colors a bit better. If you use black tea, you get kind of a nice orangey, browny, warm color. Um, green tea is sort of a yellowish, greenish, like you might expect. And if you happen to have any herbal tea that has hibiscus in it, um, I've seen some of them, like anything that says zinger on it. Um, if you check the ingredients list and it has hibiscus, you'll get... Um, when you brew it, you'll get this beautiful, I hope you can see it, like dark pink red, which I thought, wow, great, let's make that into paint. And it works great, but the color that comes out is not what you expect. When this tea reacted to the paper, if you look really closely at my test page here, it came out this really cool blue gray kind of cloudy color which wasn't anything like I expected certainly didn't look anything like the tea that I brewed um, but a really fun experiment to do you can if you aren't a tea drinker and you have coffee you can use regular brewed coffee um, it will be kind of faint as you can see it's it's kind of faint it's not very strong um, you can, of course, make coffee really strong. If you like your coffee strong, that'll make even better paint. But I feel like the easiest and fastest way to paint with coffee is to check your cupboards and see if you have any instant coffee sitting around. Like, maybe you drink instant coffee. No judgment. It's not really my thing. I don't drink it, but I do happen to have some instant coffee sitting in my cupboard and I use this for baking. Um, it adds really a nice flavor to anything that's chocolate flavored. I'll throw a little bit of this in. But it also makes great paint. So I'll, I'll do this real quickly. I'll let you show you how I use this coffee to make paint and even a couple of different shades of paint. Um, so again, I'm going to make this way stronger than if I was going to try and drink it. You take your instant coffee and some hot water, be careful, it doesn't really have to be hot, um, but this water is hot. So I have a tablespoon, I'm going to use equal parts coffee and instant coffee and water. So there's one tablespoon of instant coffee and one tablespoon of water. And just looking at this, I think I'm gonna double the amount. So let's say, let's say two tablespoons. Let's do two tablespoons of water and another one more tablespoon of instant coffee. 
this one's getting a little stale. I can absolutely use another jar, so might as well use it up, right? Okay, so you wanna stir it up really well, unless you like like little specks in your painting, because if you don't mix it up totally, what you'll get are little kind of extra dark specks of undissolved coffee, which you might like. It's not necessarily a bad thing, I'm just letting you know. Okay, so I'm gonna try and stir this up so it's nice and dissolves. That's good enough. You can't really see it, but it's super muddy and thick. I definitely would not be interested in drinking this, but I think it's gonna be great paint. Okay, I'll set my dirty measuring spoon here. And then um, you can of course just paint with it like this. You'll have just all one color and you can mix in extra water on your paper. Um, but if you want to get even fancier, if you have an empty ice tray sitting around, you can make some light brown, lighter, lighter, and lighter brown. So the way that I did this is I just started in one well uh, with one, it's just straight coffee. All right, so one, two, two spoonfuls of coffee, just straight coffee that we just mixed up. Okay, so then in the next well to make a little bit lighter, I'm gonna put one spoonful of the coffee we just made and then one spoonful of water. So that's half water, half coffee. Now if you want, you can take, I'm just eyeballing it because this isn't baking, this is just art. Um, about a half of a spoonful of coffee and half a spoonful of water and then another spoonful of water so and so on and so forth you can just keep diluting I'm just gonna do like a splash of coffee and then mostly water okay so you definitely if you want to be super precise you can be you definitely don't have to. Basically, the more water you add, the lighter it's going to be, right? Okay. So you can see, I can, I'm, it's, it's really easy to paint with. You just dip your brush in. There we go. This is hard to demonstrate, but. So, let's see. Yeah. Straight coffee. Very dark, warm brown. And then as you add more and more water, um, it gets lighter and lighter. If you take a look at my test page, you can see again, lighter and lighter and lighter. So um, again, really fun to work with. And if you have extra instant coffees sitting around, not doing anything, um, this is worth experimenting with. If you found this really interesting, I would recommend checking out the art of an artist called Maria Aristidou. She is from Cyprus and she does fine art portraits using only coffee. They're really, really cool. Um, I will provide a link uh, right underneath this video so you can take a look at some of her work. It's really neat. Um, I believe in Cyprus they make their coffee really, really strong. So it makes great paint. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Go look through your cupboards and see if you have any old instant coffee or any tea that you haven't used in a while. It's getting kind of stale. Uh, brew up a real, real, real strong cup of it. Maybe even let it sit overnight and see what it looks like when you put it on paper. Definitely check out our website. That's nopl.org for more great activities. And I will see you next week with another batch of home-cooked art. Have a great week!